Last week I created hydrogen through a chemical process. This worked perfectly, but someone pointed out that the copper that I used might not be doing anything. So, time to find out whether copper is working as a catalyst in this experiment. But before we dive into this, let's first make some pure oxygen via another chemical reaction. Welcome to Cube Chemistry, the channel where we will discuss all the elements in the periodic table and also do chemistry experiments. If you really want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. The cubes on previous videos are by the way one quarter of a toothbrush. To make pure oxygen today we will be heating potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate is a purple solid that is highly corrosive. I built the same apparatus as last week to capture the pure oxygen. By heating the potassium permanganate, oxygen will be released which will form in the test tube at the other end. When the test tube is filled with oxygen, it's time to perform a test to see if we got pure oxygen. Pure oxygen is a highly flammable substance and we can show this by performing the following test. I first light the splinter of wood on fire that I will then blow out so it will only glow. After that I will put the glowing splinter in a test tube and be amazed what will happen. You can now see the splinter will immediately catch fire again. The chemicals I'll be using in this video can be dangerous. When dealing with these chemicals and gases, make sure to use proper protection, such as splash goggles, a lab coat and protective gloves, to prevent injuries. In the video from last week, I mentioned that the copper I used in my experiment would be used as a catalyst. However, somebody pointed out to me that this maybe was wrong. So, in order to see if the copper would really speed up the process of creating hydrogen, I decided to do some extra experiments. Since I also found out that zinc and hydrochloric acid alone would react in a way that it would produce hydrogen, I wanted to do three extra tests. First, I will do the test to see the difference in reaction without heat between hydrochloric acid and zinc compared to the reaction without heat between hydrochloric acid zinc with copper as a catalyst.
It turned out that when doing this, both reactions took about the same amount of time. The zinc dissolved at the same speed and the test tube was filled with hydrogen gas in about 11 minutes. Now, to show that both tubes were filled with gas, here is the ignition. We can now safely conclude that the copper and the cold reaction here seems to have no effect. The second experiment was doing the exact same experiment as last week, but without the copper. Also, when comparing those two reactions, there is no difference with or without the copper. What you can see is that when you heat the solution, it will create gas much faster. Also. Also, to prove we actually created hydrogen here, here is the pop. So there you have it. Copper in this experiment does not seem to have a purpose, it seems. Now, I tried to guess what the reason for the mentioning of the copper could be here, but I did not really find a clear answer. Now, if you have an idea, make sure to put it in the comments. Next week, we will be finally doing electrolysis of water to create oxygen and hydrogen at the same time. Subscribe if you do not want to miss that episode. And to finish this episode, there, here are all the three reactions from this week in one go.